might have a bit of a head start now as, as, as a possibility as the number two singles player then or what? Um, I, I, wouldn't, I don't know if it's a head start, but obviously I'm more used to the conditions as of now as, yeah. as Nicola. But he's still got um, points to enter to prepare for the time to wait for chances and I'm sure it's the one that's most ready. I mean, you being from the Cape and so on, is it always a problem for you sort of adapting to the altitude a little bit more? It's just the first day or two to get used to the position, but after that, it's pretty good. Okay. And now, today, you know, yeah, the practice today has been good. One of my best, the best days so far. Raven, we've only got seven minutes left with you before we move you away. Just uh, you back from probably the best week of week, two weeks of your life. Just uh, go through your your thinking in uh, on how you did and where you are, and just just give us a bit of the heart. Yeah, I mean, obviously everybody knows what happened in Australia, and that was that was extra special for me. I, I think um, it hasn't quite so yet. You know, I. I it was such a rush getting there and then coming back today. And in my head when I went to Australia, I was like, my flight was booked the middle weekend, I'll be in Cape Town for a week, and then I come up and prepare for Davis Cup, you know. And things obviously changed when we started doing really well and, and getting some good wins. But I'm trying my best to kind of put that behind me now and, and, and really focus on the job at hand here, which is Davis Cup this week. You know, we've, we've, we've got to get three points on the weekend, and uh, my job is to, to make sure that I, I contribute on, on Saturday to that big three, and then... Uh, Hopefully next week I can take a few days off and, and, and really enjoy you know what's happening in the last month of my life.